CDM. It's one of the most important positions on the pitch, but I didn't realize how many people actually play it. It's just that type of position that gets memed, like when the DM goes for skill runs, but it's been one of my most requested videos. And as a result, I'm going to give you one of the greatest DM builds from one of the greatest DM players in Oceana. Madrid. Like always, I'm not the type of guy to capitalize and exploit build videos and just make rubbish builds. If I'm ever going to give you a build, it's either going to be from myself or from winners, from people that I trust, from the best players players that I know, and that is exactly what this is. So let's go. Why is Madrid classified as the GOAT? Because in Oceana, the best title that you can win is an 11v11 AVPL title, which by the way is the series that I'm uploading now. But by winning just one of these titles, you've made it. Madrid has won eight. He's been playing pro clubs for over six years, so long story short, he knows what he's doing. And he's been kind enough to lend you this build, which is six foot four and 110 pounds. And that equates to 193 centimeters and 49 kilograms. The reason being is because you're tall enough to win headers, and you're also big enough to have a good hitbox, which will help you to defend, make tackles, and just overall really annoy their attack. But it's not going to weigh on your pace, it's not going to weigh on your agility, ball control. So all in all, you have a really strong build that is great in the air, that's fast, and that can make tackles and interceptions with ease. Okay, cool. Moving on, let's talk about the GOAT skill tree. First up, physical. And Madrid has opted to go for one strength and one stamina. All in all, he saved a lot of skill points by not allocating it into physical because really if you know how to position yourself how to read your opponent and how to make tackles by having just these two you're gonna do fine moving on as for defense you'll need to fill it all up things like defensive awareness interceptions tackles these are all crucial for a dm and in part the reason why madrid is so good at winning tackles is because he's maxed his defense out the only thing that you don't need is to double down on sliding tackles save those skill points and put them towards the guardian archetype because they'll boost a lot of your important defensive stats so when you're defending in comps, high divisions, or even Div 10, you're going to be safeguarded by knowing that your pro is defensively strong. Now, talking dribbling, and something that might surprise a lot of people, is the amount of skill points that have been allocated towards it. But just in general, even for a goalkeeper build, you always want your pro to be agile, to be quick on the ball, to have a good first touch, and to be responsive. And that is especially the case for a DM. Watching Madrid play myself, he's one of the safest players on the ball. And that's not only because he's goaded, but it's because he's equipped agility, balance, ball control and all that stuff. Even skill moves. I mean, it, it just goes with the meme. Every DM is a five-star skiller and they just make the game so much more fun. Moving on to passing, and I think it's really important to note that even as a DM, having two short and one long passing trait is really good. And even though you're not upgrading that much, you still have 88 in both short and long pass. So that way you're really competent on the ball. Your passes get to where they need to go really quickly. And as a result, you're going to be trusted a lot more. You know, everyone in our team trusts Madrid. So by having good passing, you're not going to be ignored on the ball. Now the second last thing, shooting. And in order to get to that 70 benchmark, Madrid has slapped on one finishing trait. Obviously, you don't want to waste too many skill points. And clearly seen by this clip, it's working effectively. Zaidi lays it off to Duncan. Sai, he has the player. Sai has scored the goal. Olympus. Nah, no seriousness. Even a DM might see themselves in an opportunity to shoot. So by slapping on just one trait of finishing, it'll help you to be just a little bit better of a finisher. And lastly, because you don't need goalkeeping. And this is one of the most important attributes for any DM. You need to slap on everything, including sprint speed and acceleration, and especially that cheater archetype. Like in this clip here, you want to be fast when dropping back into defense, and you want to be able to move up the pitch really quickly. This also goes hand in hand with your upgraded dribbling. So overall, just like Madrid, your player is incredibly responsive. You're fast, you're quick, and that's what you want. Whew, skill tree done. And last but not least, let's talk about the perks. First up, the goad runs physical strength. Obviously, it boosts your strength, jumping, heading accuracy and your ball control and like you can see with all the clips and like the whole of Oceana can see when they're getting pocketed those things are really good the second important thing is precision pass good passing from a DM is a must so with the ability to upgrade pass accuracy and speed and also gain a bit of swerve flare and the five star weak foot ability I mean uh, that's pretty OP and thirdly tireless runner obviously it's unlocked at level 23 and that grants the second wind and solid player traits it's perfect for comps and higher division builds and a definitely helps out after the 70th minute and if you're not level 23 probably go for the ball winner but that one's up to you that's it huge shout out to madrid again genuinely the goat of oceana and it's pretty cool to give you his build if you got any questions let me know in the comments i hope and i'm sure it'll work good for you so yeah i'll catch you later 
I love giving you guys comp videos, build videos, experimental videos, like when I jumped in GK as the shortest build. Yeah, you don't want to try that. Regardless, whatever video I put out, I make sure it's done well for you. So if you want to support me in the form of subscribing to me via one of my three tiers, that'll help me to give back to you. In the first tier, I'll be personally giving you a unique role in my Discord server with over 400 members. Just let me know your Discord name in the comments. I'll provide you with a unique badge and I'll also give you access to certain custom emotes by me and to show my thanks i'll put you at the front of my channel i'll also be shouting out to you in every single one of my videos i'll be prioritizing your comments and i'll be posting pro clubs memes information rumors anything to do with the game mode just for you the second tier includes all of those things plus i'll be trying out your gk build please like i say here don't hurt me just leave it in my comment section i'll see that you're a member bish bosh bash you'll also have access to a private part of my channel where certain videos are only available to you you can ask me any pro clubs question that you just not sure about. And for the 30, I'll be providing you with legitimate comp builds early on. They will be my latest goalkeeping build. They will also be the builds that some of the best players in pro clubs are using, and I'll give you it early on. Whatever position you want, it's yours. That, that sounded weird. I should have worded that. <laughs> I'll pin your YouTube comments to the top, and amongst that, I'll be doing a voice call on the 14th every single month with you. So if any of these interest you, feel free to consider them. And if not, then thank you anyway.